Today I'm doing a tier list of 50 Minecraft shaders. Now this video isn't a joke guys, honestly, this took me forever. Firstly, I had to make over 300 videos, then I had to put them into Premiere Pro, edit them all, render it, post it, make sure everything is fine, and it was... I am so glad that this video is out. My first intention was actually to get 100 Minecraft shaders, which uh, I thought about it, and I was downloading all them shaders, and I was like... That's just not gonna work. Most of these shaders were just repeating themselves and half of them weren't even working and they were just getting worse and worse and worse. And eventually I was like, you know what? There's no point of me posting something that default Minecraft looks better. Ah. So we stuck at 50 Minecraft shaders and I still think it's pretty decent amount. Considering normally people only post like top 10s and it's always the same shaders, which is complimentary, BSL, you know, Seuss, all these shaders. But today I found a couple more that you guys probably never heard of. I never heard of them myself. But yeah, the plan of today's video is to use this tier list which I've created and this spin the wheel that we are going to be spinning and seeing what shader we're going to be reviewing first. But yeah, I'm going to be extremely disappointed if you guys don't like this video because like, come on, I spent days making this and you just have to do one click and I'll be honestly extremely happy. So please drop a like and also subscribe if you're new. I will highly appreciate it. We're going to be using five themes for each shader, which is going to be day, rain, winter, night, end and nether dimension. Now I tried to include a little bit more themes, but then I realized that I'm going to end up with more than three. 300 videos that I have to edit so I was like nah six is gonna be enough it's plenty we've got you know two dimensions and four other things which is pretty fine but yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get right into our first shader okay so we gotta spin the wheel here and let's go ahead and click it to see which shader we're gonna be reviewing first and it's gonna be come on red hat rethinking voxels rethinking voxels is gonna be our first shader on the list so let's go ahead and check it out Okay, so straight off the bat, now Rethinking Voxels is a pretty good shader, honestly, probably one of my, you know, my, one of my favorites, and, you know, I love the light tracing on it, uh, you know, all the biomes looked really nice, actually, so, you know, we didn't have any bugs, the night was absolutely amazing, the rain was also really nice, and, you know, it's a pretty tough decision, because it is a really good shader, but the goat is the goat, and I don't think it deserves the goat, so we're gonna put this one. I don't know, it's gonna be a hard decision guys, but I think I'm gonna go for Supreme because this shader is honestly a really nice shader and you know, there's not many bugs. It may be a little bit hard to run it. it might, you know, if you set it up, um, you know, for ray tracing, it may be slightly hard to run if you don't have the best PC, but you know, it's, in general, it's a really nice shader. So I think it deserves to be in a Supreme section. Okay, next shader on the list. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel to see which one is it gonna be. And uh, it's gonna be Dr. Destin's shader. So let's go ahead and check this one out. For a shader that is kind of unknown, to be honest, um, I actually first time ever used it making this video. It actually doesn't look too bad. I do like the day. The rain might be a little bit weird. It's like kind of like that the rain particles are black, but that could mean because I forgot to say in the intro, we are using fabric version for this. So some shaders may only be Optifine compatible. So, well, it does let us use it, but it might just be nicer using Optifine. But you know, most of these shaders shouldn't have an issue. But this one, for example, I don't know if the rain is actually supposed to be like that, but it was pretty dark. The snow was actually really nice though on the night. The end was a, a little bit too green, but uh, yeah, it was still still all right. Overall, I don't think this shader is one of the worst ones. So I think I'm going to put it into the... I might put it... You know what? I'm going to put it into okay, because it's not like... It's not good. I wouldn't actually use it. It's okay. 
but it's not like dog water, right? So <laughs> I think OK is going to be the best option for us here. OK, third shader on the list. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel. Let's see what we're going to get. OK, give us some good. Come on. It's going to be Noble Master. Yeah, it's Noble Master. Noble Master is actually not a bad shader, I don't think. Uh, it is compatible with Distance Horizons, so I would, you know, use it with Distance Horizons if you're using it. If not, then I, there's many other options probably better out there. But anyways, let's not judge and let's go ahead and check it out. As I said, this shader is compatible with Distance Horizon, so it would look even nicer. But overall, this shader, I didn't really like the night. I didn't really like the end dimension, even though it was pretty unique. I, it wasn't really my favorite. Yeah, the rain, once again, it was horrible. It was just broken looking. But the day was absolutely amazing. So I think the day kind of saves it from it being dog. And I think I'm going to put it into OK as well, because it's still a nice shader. Like, if it rains, though... I would probably just advise you sitting in the house because it might actually break. And yeah, the winter actually doesn't look too bad. Nether is a bit too dark, but the day looks unreal. I think it was one of the best ones so far we've seen. So I'm going to set it into okay. Okay, you know the rules. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel to see our fourth shader that we're going to be reviewing. And it's going to be... Exposa, I think. Exposa, okay. Exposa is a new shader for me as well. So let's go ahead and check it out and see what this shader is about. Something about this shader that kind of like is like weeber unique is like the depth of field. I don't know what it is, but it just brings that like warmth and vibe feeling, honestly. I think the shader is pretty good, actually. It was working nicely with the day. It was working nicely with, you know, the rain. The snow was kind of like, I don't know why it was so like shiny, the snow, but it's still okay, I guess. And um, yeah, the end dimension, I don't think it actually even worked. The night was kind of like day, to be honest. It wasn't even like slightly dark. The light tracing on the lava was absolutely amazing. So now this one's going to be pretty tricky because everything was actually not the worst, just disappointing on the night and the end dimension. Overall, it was a pretty nice shader. So I think it deserves to be on good. I think good is a pretty good spot for this shader, so let's just keep it there. Okay, let's see what our next shader is going to be. Give us a good one. Give us one that deserves to be goat. I think it's going to be opal. Or opal. Yeah, it's opal. I'm pretty sure most of you guys haven't heard of this shader. Myself, I haven't heard of it at all. I just find it in the, you know, on the, on the web. So, yeah, let's go ahead and give this one a chance. Okay, this shader kind of blew my mind a wee bit. To be honest, for a shader that is unknown, it actually looks really, really good. Everything about it was working fine. The end dimension was also really nice. It was like kind of like a, you know, misty vibe, but that's kind of what you want to get from the end dimension. And just overall, this shader is actually really nice. So I don't know where to put it. This one's going to be a tricky one too. I don't think it's, I don't think it's even good. I think it's supreme, to be honest. And it's a shader that, you know, most people don't actually use. I think, honestly, this shader has potential and I think I'm going to put it in Supreme because everything about it works very good and it's just actually a shader that should be, 
near enough the top maybe 15 shaders so yeah we're gonna leave it at supreme i'm happy with my decision i think this shader has potential and it's you know it's it's a for me it's new maybe it's been out there for ages but honestly it's a nice shader and i'm gonna keep it in supreme okay at this point i don't even know how much shaders we did i think we're on our fifth one so let's go ahead and spin the wheel anyway and let's see which is gonna be our sh next shader so far some of these shaders have been really nice and we're gonna get prismarine prismarine shader i don't know if you heard about it before but um yeah it's also a new one to me honestly there's so much shaders here that are pretty new to me so let's go ahead and give this one a chance Okay, another shader that blew my mind is this one. Honestly, I didn't expect it to be this good. Um, although I do think the Opal shader beats it slightly, but you know, all the rest of the dimensions and all the rest of the things that we had here were actually, you know, were working very nicely and they were very nice as well. So for a shader that isn't known as well, well, maybe, I, to be honest, I kind of maybe heard of it before, but it kind of like, you know, disappeared from my mind. But yeah, this shader deserves to be not okay. It's gonna be good. I, I do like the shader. I did enjoy the shader, I do like it, so I think this is a good spot for the shader. So far, we got two on Supreme, we got two on Good, and two on OK. No goats or no dogs, so far these shaders are looking, you know, pretty OK, I think. And I hope you guys aren't getting annoyed by this tier list, um, because I'm, I might think that you guys may, you guys probably have different decisions and stuff, so yeah, hopefully you guys aren't gonna, you know, destroy me in the comment section below. But this is my tier list, so this is my personal opinion, I think, so yeah. Anyways, next shader. Okay, next shader, let's go ahead and spin the wheel. Let's see what we're gonna get. So far, this shader's been decent enough and we still have a lot to go through, so this video is gonna be a very long video. But our next shader is gonna be a Voyager shader. Now, this is a new one once again, so let's go ahead and check this one out. Okay, this shader honestly wasn't like breathtaking. Um, I didn't really like anything about it. The end dimension was pretty weird. The rain was a wee bit heavy. The nether was just basic. Day was okay. Um, I don't know what else. Winter was also okay. Night was a wee bit too bright. So overall, I think this shader is our first shader to go into the dog section. I didn't like it at all. Up, you know, it's my personal opinion. So yeah, our first shader to go into the dog section. Anyways, next shader. Okay, next shader. Let's spin the wheel. Let's see what we get. And it's gonna be... Eternation T is another shader that is actually like a high intensive shader. It's um, it's a combination of Continuum and Swiss PTGI. GI. And yeah, let's go ahead and see what this shader is about. Iteration T is an amazing shader, honestly, probably one of the better ones out there as well. Uh, although it does require a high-end PC to run it, um, because, you know, it's a pretty intense shader. Overall, the shader was absolutely amazing. The end I mentioned absolutely took my breath away. It was absolutely amazing. And, yeah, the only thing that it didn't have was raindrops or snowflakes in the, you know, in the biomes. So, slightly a wee bit weird. But, overall, I think the shader deserves to be in the supreme section, because it's a really nice shader. 
and it's just you know it's just amazing shader honestly if you guys haven't tried it yet you know go ahead but i do recommend just having a higher pc so far we've got better shaders than actual worst ones like it's going down in like a pyramid but from the best from to the worst so yeah so far it's looking pretty good and you know i'm not that hateful i you know i do have respect for these shaders so yeah anyways next shader okay once again let's spin the wheel let's see what we get dude i'm actually enjoying the spinning the wheel thing it's actually a pretty cool thing my first time using it Okay, we're gonna get Nostalgia. Okay, Nostalgia V3, V5, and VX. So I kind of combined these three shaders together because they're basically the same shader, only different versions. So we're actually gonna be running, um, I'm actually gonna just play all three all together. So I'm gonna do Nostalgia V3 first, Nostalgia V5, and Nostalgia VX. And then we're just gonna rate them all, you know, in total. <laughs> Okay, so this one is going to be very tricky to write because all these three shaders were absolutely amazing. They are basically the same shader, but they go by V3, V5, and VX. V3 being the worst and VX being the most intense one. Although they do have their pluses and minuses, like VX, Rain was, you know, it was kind of like ugly looking. And then the end dimension was also not the best. Then the V3 and V5, what, you know, the end dimensions looked really nice as well as the other biomes. So... It's got its pluses and minuses, so it's pretty hard to rate. And I don't want to rate it from, you know, 3 being the worst and VX being the best, because that's, in my opinion, not true. I think V3 is going to be in the good section. I think that's a pretty good spot for it. V3 was very nice. Look, you know, everything was working very fine about it. So I think it deserves to be in the, you know, good section. Then the VX, I think, is going to be... I think I'm going to put the VX also in the good section, because the both have their pluses and minuses vx has the ray tracing option which look you know which looks absolutely incredible if you're using it during the day or just in general one of really nice ray tracings and stuff like that like even when we went to the nether there it was absolutely insane you know the lava was just in your face it looked unreal and then the v5 though the v5 is the one that i use the most commonly on all my tiktoks and stuff like that you know i use this one a lot just because the rain looks unreal and overall it's just an amazing shader and i i think we got our first goaded shader honestly i think this is where this shader belongs it should be goaded you know this is my tier list so i think this shader deserves to be goaded for me because it is one of my most favorite and one of my most used shaders out there so i believe you know it definitely deserves to be in the supreme section so yeah that's the nostalgia shaders i don't know you guys probably will disagree with me i do still think that the v3 should be maybe in the supreme section but then i don't want to I don't want to leave the VX because the VX is supposed to be the best one, but obviously there was a little bit of issues with this one so far, but I think maybe Optifine maybe would have worked better. I don't know. But, you know, rating it from the themes that we had, I think this, you know what? I'm going to put it in Supreme. I'm going to leave it like that. I think this is the best way we could, you know, sort these out. I do kind of feel bad leaving the VX in the good section, but, you know, we're rating it from the themes that we've got. 
and I did think that B3 beat it in a way, you know, with the rain and the end dimension. VX has really nice ray tracing, but that's not just gonna win you the first spot. Nostalgia V5 though, it's just perfect. I love the shader, so I do really think that it deserves to be goaded. And yeah, that's the nostalgia shaders. Let's go to our next shaders. Okay, next shader, let's go ahead and spin the wheel. Let's see what we get. And it's gonna be, you know, starting to, starting to decrease. Now we're getting a little bit less shaders. Okay, CTM pump fix. Now this shader is, uh, it's, well, you guys will gonna check it out yourself. This shader was, uh, it was actually not the worst, I think. Um, you know, in, in my opinion, it still looked pretty nice. I didn't like the day, it was kind of like dark looking. Um, I did like the end dimension and I did like the night as well. That was pretty, pretty nice and cozy. But overall, I think it's not like the best shader that we have so far. So I think I'm gonna put this one into the okay section. You know, it's still a decent shader, but it's not like, it's not like the best shader out there. So yeah, I think okay is gonna be a good rating for this shader. Okay, next shader, let's go ahead and spin the wheel, see what we get. I've said that like literally every <laughs> every spin I done. Let's see what we get. LS render pearl. Okay, let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, this shader didn't really breathtake me. It is slightly like vanilla style, which some people prefer. I, in my opinion, don't really, you know, fancy the vanilla style. So I do like my shaders to be pretty intense. Overall, it, it wasn't too bad. I think it, um, I think it has potential, but I think I'm gonna put it into the okay section. It's not the worst, but it isn't, you know, up there with the other shaders. So yeah, I think the okay section for it will be perfect. Okay, next shader. This is gonna be your 12th shader today. So yeah, we've already done 11. The list is still looking pretty big. And our next shader is Fast PBR, which is uh, another shader that I never used other than this video. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, this shader honestly looked pretty good to be honest. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Silger's Vibrant vibe. It's got that kind of same feeling. And I was a really big fan of Silger's shaders, which they are also on this list. But yeah, honestly, I think this shader is actually really nice. And it's a pretty hard decision for me to put it. I don't know, it's either between Supreme or Good. And I think this shader, it, it really deserves to be in a Supreme section, to be honest. It doesn't have any bugs, it runs very smoothly, and it just looks actually really, really good. So I think Supreme for Fast PBR is honestly gonna be the best section for it. Okay, what's our next shader gonna be? Let's go ahead and spin this wheel. What do we get? Photon, I think. Yeah, it's Photon. Another shader that is compatible with Distance Horizons. So if you are using Distance Horizons, check this shader out.
Okay, this shader is uh, actually pretty decent. Honestly, I did enjoy it. The best dimension was the end dimension. It looked, it looked spectacular, honestly. I loved it. Overall, shader looks not too bad. I do like it. Not the biggest fan of it. So I think it actually deserves to be somewhere in the good and supreme section once again. And I think, I don't know, actually, this is going to be a hard choice. Um, it is, it does look nice in all the other biomes. I think it I think I'm going to put it into the good section because I just think that there's better options out there. And, you know, it's, it's still a nice shader. Don't get me wrong. I do like it, but it's not like my favorite. So, yeah, we're going to keep it in the good sections. Next shader. Let's go ahead and see what's going to be. And it's going to be... Arc. Another shader that I've never used before. So let's go ahead. See what it is. Okay, this shader was, I don't know, it, was, it, was, it wasn't my type of shader. Um, I didn't really like the, you know, the rain. It kind of looked like it was a tsunami coming. It was so intense. The winter was, the winter wasn't too bad, actually. The winter was pretty okay. And dimension was pretty glitchy and it was, you know, it was green as well. The night or tent looked like it was literally glowing. And that, you know, the water during the day just kind of seemed like it was too bloomy for me. In my opinion, I don't really like the shader. So I think I'm going to put it into the dog section um yeah not 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 a great fan of the shader so just my opinion okay next shader let's spin this wheel once again and also if you guys are enjoying this video so far and you are still here please drop a like and also subscribe i would highly appreciate it and our next shader is going to be muskrose it's a new shader for me once again half of these actually probably i say 70 percent of these shaders i've never used before so yeah let's go ahead and check this one out Okay, Muskrose wasn't a shader that I, you know, really like as well. It's not, it didn't suit my vibe. The, you know, the shadows were breaking and the, the rain was very intense, very dark as well. Just an overall, a very dark shader. The night wasn't the, you know, the best as well. The winter was pretty dark. The end dimension was too dark. And the nether dimension was too dark as well. It just wasn't really the best shader out there. So I think this one, I think I'm going to put into the dog section again. So yeah, we're starting to build this dog section, guys. You know, it's, it's starting to fill up here. So hopefully we get some better shaders coming here. Okay, next shader. And we're only on 16th shader right now. So there's still a good bit of shaders to go. I should have done like two parts to this video, but it's what it is. We're just going to be a nice little long video. Silger's Vibrant Extreme. One of my favorite shaders that used to be. Not anymore, but let's go ahead and check it out. So Silgen shader is kind of like a classic shader. I used it, you know, back in my, my old days. So it was it was one of the best shaders out there. Though now when there's so much shaders available, watching it, um, you know, it was a slightly buggy, but might just be because Optifine would work better with it. But you know, we're rating it from the fabric version. So, you know, the rain was a little bit glitchy. The snow was also slightly glitchy. The end didn't really work. And overall, I think the shader, you know, the day kind of saves it. I think I'm going to still put it in the OK section because it's still a really nice shader if you want to play with it. I sometimes, you know, I would actually still sometimes use it, but not as often anymore. 
And yeah, it's just, I think it deserves to be in an okay section. For a shader being this old, it's still a pretty good shader. Next shader, let's spin the wheel, see what we get. And it's gonna be Bliss, I think. Okay, Bliss shader, one of the best shaders out there right now. Probably one of the most popular shaders because of Distance Horizons. So yeah, let's go and see what the hype is about. Okay, dude, this shader is honestly amazing. I do love this shader, um, not just because of Distance Horizons, just in general, I started using it not long ago. You know, the water and the shadows look absolutely amazing. The rain was just insane. The snow as well, or the winter biome. Only issue is the end I mentioned doesn't work. I got a message saying that this shader doesn't work. Uh, maybe there's another version, maybe there's a way to fix it, but I couldn't get it fixed. So yeah, the end dimension doesn't work on it. Um, the you know, overall this shader, beyond the end I mentioned, I think this shader deserves to be in the top of the tier. So I think it's gonna be in the Supreme section. Just if they did have an end, I think, end I mentioned that, you know, it works, I would definitely put it in the goaded section. But just because of that, I'm not gonna do it. And yeah, I'm just gonna leave it in the Supreme section. It is an amazing shader and I do really like it. So yeah, I think that's a fair rating for Bliss. So yeah, let's go ahead and check our next shader. Okay, next shader on the list, let's go ahead and check it out. Let's see what we get. It's gonna be Kappa, I think. Okay, this shader is a pretty old shader as well. And yeah, it's also got slightly like ray tracing options. So yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, this shader isn't actually the worst. I do kind of like it. There is some ups and downs. The, you know, the rain was uh, absolutely amazing. The only issue was the actual raindrops were kind of like black. But other than that, the sunrise or the sun during the rain was absolutely amazing. And yeah, just overall, it's a pretty good shader. The end dimension kind of didn't seem like an end dimension though. It uh, kind of seemed like we were in the overworld with the sky and stuff. But overall, I think this shader deserves to be in the good section. I don't think it's supreme. I don't think it's okay. I still think it's, you know, in the mid tier. So, yeah, I think that's a fair rating for Kappa PT. Let's go ahead and check out our next shader. Okay, let's spin this wheel once again. <laughs> this is our 19th shader it's going to be. So, yeah, we spun it quite a lot. And it's still looking like there's a lot of shaders to be, you know. Yeah, okay, Pastel is our next shader. So, let's go ahead and check out Pastel. I'm pretty sure you guys never heard of it before. If you did... You're a geek, but yeah, let's go ahead and try it out. Okay, another new shader, and uh, honestly, it's it wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst as well. Um, it, it kind of felt like it was too bright, so most of these shaders were kind of too dark. This one kind of felt like someone put the exposure up and just kind of like made every biome kind of bright, other than the end, of course. But other than that, I think it's not like the dog water section. I think it's okay. Um, for me, I think okay is a fair rating for it, so let's just leave it at okay. Okay, next shader. So far, we actually only have one goaded shader and it's Nostalgia V5. So hopefully we get another goaded shader and it's going to be Solas. So let's go ahead and check this one out.
this is a shader that I did hear about before. I've seen a couple of people use it and I think it has potential. I don't think it's like amazing, but I don't think it's bad as well. I think it's uh I think I'm gonna put it into the midsection. I think I'm I think good is a fair rating for it, so let's just keep it at good. You know, I didn't really enjoy the day, but I did enjoy the other themes, like you know, the end dimension didn't look too bad, and just um, you know, the rain was pretty fair, and the snow and the night was also pretty good. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave it in the good section. I think that's a pretty fair rating for it. And by the looks of it, these three are battling. They're basically we've got the same we got the same ratings for these three and you know dog three and nostalgia v5 in the gold section nobody is beating this shader this shader is top tier anyways next shader next shader let's go ahead and spin this wheel for the 21st time already we've already got this is going to be our 21st shader and is it lux okay it's lux and guys honestly wait till you see the end i mentioned this one because i did use this one and honestly it's it's mind blown Okay, Lux, what a shader. Honestly, one of the best ones I have seen in the end dimension. The end dimensions looks just god. I honestly love it. And overall, I think it's a I think it's a fair shader. I do like it. I don't really like the day though. It's like I'm not feeling the sun really hit my face. It's just kind of like basic. The rain looks alright. The snow um, also looks okay. The night looks actually really nice. So I think that this shader, to be honest, um, I think it deserves to be in the supreme section. For a new shader that I've never really used before, and I don't think many people know about it, this shader actually, I think, deserves to be in the Supreme section. It's honestly a really nice shader, runs very sh smoothly as well, and just in general, guys, the, the end dimension just probably like lifts it up by a lot. I do, I, I, I did enjoy it. I think it looks absolutely amazing. So yeah, let's keep it in the Supreme section, and the Supreme section is currently leading our, you know, tier here. Okay, next shader, let's go ahead and spin this wheel. Let's see what we get. And it's gonna be shrimple. No, I think it's soft voxels. Okay, soft voxels. Let's go ahead and check this one out. Soft voxels, really nice shader, honestly. I think it's like similar to the rethinking voxels, but it's just obviously the softer version. You know, the name says it all. Um, in general, I think the shader deserves to be in a, you know, higher grinds. I think it's a really nice shader. I did really enjoy the, you know, most of these themes were really nice. The weather was, um, you know, the one in the rain was absolutely amazing as well. And just genuinely, I think this shader is a nice shader. The nether dimension though was unreal as well with the lava, you know, light tracing, all this here, it was, it was pretty good it was just kind of felt like it was just like you know lava surrounding you like there was heat in the nether for the first time ever and yeah it's just a really nice shader i did enjoy it i was actually recommended by a friend to use this shader well not in this video but he recommended me to try out the shader and yeah definitely one of the shader that i do like so i think i'm gonna put it in the good section i don't think it beats rethinking voxel or i don't think it should be compared to rethinking voxels i think i still think rethinking voxels beats it so i'm just below it, I'm going to put it in the good section, and I think that's going to be, um, you know, a fair rating for it. And once again, we're spinning the wheel. Let's see what we get. And it's going to be, I'm guessing it's going to be Cardcraft. No, it's Boovalmentary. Now, this is a shader that I did hear about before. Never used it. Only used it in this video. So let's go ahead and check it out.
Okay, this shader is kind of grown on me. I think um, it kind of reminds me of Complementary Reimagined, and Complementary Reimagined is a really good shader. This one is like, I don't know what, it's like a combination of Silgers and Complementary Reimagined, and it's, it's honestly a really nice shader. I did enjoy it. For a shader that I've never really used before, I think all the themes and all the dimensions were absolutely stunning, so I think this one deserves to be into the... I think this one isn't good i think this one is supreme guys i think this shader is supreme honestly try the shader out yourself and you will find out this is it you know it kind of reminds me of as i said complimentary reimagined i don't know if he kind of just like redone it or is this the same guy just because you know they do have a similar name you know with the mentory at the end so i don't know but it is it's a very nice shader and i did enjoy it so i'm gonna leave it in the supreme section and let's go ahead and let's uh, you know spin the wheel again the wheel is actually looking smaller now it's, it's starting to starting to decrease with the shaders, which is which is kind of what we want, right? So <laughs> wisdom is the next shader that we've got, right? Let's go ahead and check this one out. I used Wisdom in one of my videos, I think, in the past, and I did like it before better. For some reason, now looking at all these shaders that I'm, you know, watching, um, I don't, I, I don't think it compares to them that much. Um, overall, you know, I think it's a little bit broken as well, and I just, you know, I don't really seem to like it that much. The only, it's like feels a wee bit like intense to me. Like the the weather's kind of feel like really harsh. Um, the end dimension feels very bright, so. It, it, it's nice like with the cool particles that they added like the lens flares and stuff but genuinely i don't think this shader deserves to be in the top tier so i think i'm gonna leave it into the dog section i don't know i don't i don't like the shader i'm not gonna ever use it again so yeah it's gonna be in the dog section okay once again let's spin that wheel see what we get and it's gonna be bsl okay bsl a classic shader i'm pretty sure everybody watching this video knows what bsl is so yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and check it out anyways. BSL classic shader I'm pretty sure most of you guys know what the shader is and it has like so much optimizations as you can do with this shader it's a shader I used so much I'm pretty sure everybody used it in the past so it's been in the top 10 videos for a reason most of the times when you search up a shader BSL is always in the top 10 list and it's you know for a good reason it is an amazing shader it has so much customizations that you can do and just adjust it to your liking so I don't know it's gonna be a very tricky decision for me i think it should be you know either supreme or goaded guys honestly but i don't know it's just such a hard decision it doesn't have what i love about shaders the most which is ray tracing and i think i'm gonna have to put it in the supreme section i don't think it deserves to be goaded i think um supreme is perfect for it it's still don't get me wrong guys he's probably some of the you know some of you would probably put it in the goaded section for me I would also put it in the go to section, but I don't think it's got like that top, 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 top notch, you know? So yeah, I'm just gonna leave it in the Supreme section. That's my rating. So yeah, let's go ahead and check out our next shader. Okay, we're halfway there, three of them shaders. We're in, um, this is gonna be our 26th one right now. So let's see what we get. And it's gonna be Chupatics, I guess. Yeah, Chupatics 13, top tier shader. Once again, let's go ahead and check it out.
Chupadex is a shader that is kind of very similar to Bliss. I have a feeling it's maybe made by the same creator or just, you know, they kind of work together. I still believe that Bliss shader would probably take the lead. If I was to pick between two of them, I would definitely pick the Bliss shader because, you know, it, it does look this, like very similar to Chupadex, but I feel like Chupadex has a little bit more issues with it. Um, there is some glitches that, you know, are kind of uh, annoying. I've played with it before and you know when i look very far in the distance like the trees and all just come bright like the shadow levels and i can't adjust it it doesn't let me adjust it so it's it's kind of weird but overall it's a nice shader and i think it deserves to be just below bliss so i'm gonna put it into the good section bliss is obviously in the supreme section so yeah i think that's just a fair rating for it next shader let's go ahead and let's see what we're gonna get and it's gonna be rre36 now i've heard of the shader before only ever used it in this video but let me guys show you what the shader is. Okay, so I've heard about this shader before and I've never used it other than this video and yeah, it's actually, I actually like it, you know, the sky looks absolutely amazing in the day and the rain looks unreal as well, only issue is the raindrops, I have a feeling it might be the Optifine and yeah, just in general, I think this shader looks absolutely amazing. The end I mentioned though had like kind of feel into the overworld, just like a shader we used um, previously, I can't remember which one it was. But yeah, overall, I think the shader deserves to be somewhere in the mid tier. So I'm going to put it into the good section. The sky, though, is um, absolutely amazing. I think it's the best sky so far that I've seen in the shader. Um, the clouds look so realistic. And just genuinely, I think this shader has some sort of potential. And I'm just going to leave it in the good section. I think that's a fair rating. And yeah, let's get to our next shader. Next shader, let's see what it's going to be. I need to find some sort of a different word to say now. Because I've been saying next shader, next shader, or, you know, spin the wheel. So many times that I honestly don't know what to say anymore. Okay, Red Hat. Red Hat is another new shader. Let's go ahead and check this one out. Red Hat is probably another shader that you guys probably never heard of before. And to be honest, it, it has some sort of a potential in it. I don't think that it deserves to be dog. I think, um, you know, the, the, the only issues with this one and during the day, the water just kind of feels like it's photoshopped into the ground for some reason. But other than that, um, all the other dimensions and all the other things were absolutely amazing. So, well, not amazing, but it was good. Uh, I think it deserves to be not in the dog section, but I think I'm going to put it in the OK section. I think that's a fair rating for it. And yeah, so far, the tier list is looking pretty good. I don't see any goaded shaders coming up here. We only have one goaded um, shader and yeah, I don't know. That's, that's just my opinion, guys. We still have a couple of shaders to go here. So let's go ahead to our next shader. Next shader, let's see what we're going to get. Give us like a goaded, uh, goaded tier shader, please. Sora. Okay, let's go ahead and see what Sora is about. Okay, I feel like this shader is another kind of like basic shader. We've seen these shaders before, you know. It looks okay. It doesn't look, you know, that great. The nether or the end dimension was just pitch black. So it would be hard to kill the dragon when it's pitch black. And yeah, genuinely, I think um, it just deserves to be an okay section. Or even, 
you know what? I think okay section would be good for it. Um, it would either be okay or dog, but I think we're gonna give this one a chance and we're just gonna put it in the okay section. So yeah, let's just leave it there and let's get to our next shader. Okay, 30th shader on the list. Let's see what we're gonna get here. And um, it's going to be insanity shader. Okay, let's go ahead and check this shader out and see what it's about. This shader has only one purpose and it's basically to make everything just so foggy and dark. It's kind of more like a horror shader, um, although I still try to include it just because I know it's kind of like a popular shader and I've seen people use it before. So it has one goal and it is to just make it, you know, foggy, dark, kind of scary vibe. So comparing it to these shaders, these shaders are all just kind of like vibey and, you know, nice, you know, whatever. But this one is more like I want to, you know so yeah anyways i'm gonna put this shader i think it's still it's a nice shader for the aspect that it's going for which is obviously the dark theme so i'm thinking i'm gonna put it into the good section just because if you're looking to make this game into a horror game this shader i think would be the one that you want to use or there's another one called spookalmentary but that one is just pitch black everything and there's like a red moon and stuff so it's not on this list but if you guys want to check it out go ahead and check it out but insanity is another shader that i think would be a nice horror shader so i'm I think I'm just going to leave it in the good section. Okay, next shader. Let's see what we're going to get. And it's going to be Project Luma. Okay, Project Luma is our next shader. Let's go ahead and see what the crack is about. Project Luma, I've heard of the shader before. I've seen people use it before as well. Um, I don't think it just like breath takes me that much. I think it's just an okay shader. We've seen shaders like this before. The themes just kind of looked like all just like we've seen it before. Only issue is the end didn't work. It was well, it did work, but it was just very dark. So genuinely, I think it's just um another okay shader. It's not it's not dog, but it's just okay. It's not good either. I don't really fancy it that much. So yeah, next shader. Okay, next shader. We don't have that many to go which is uh, pretty good because it's getting kind of tiring at this point. But um, okay, Shrimple. Shrimple is a good shader. So let's go ahead and check this one out. Shrimple is a shader that I use uh, quite a lot, to be honest. Um, I do like the shader. I feel like it kind of gives you like this like Western feeling. Genuinely, it just like, um, it kind of feels like a bloom, kind of like warm and like soft feeling to the shader. And I honestly really like it. It also works with distance horizons and it's got ray tracing options. So definitely a really good shader. And I think I'm going to put this shader into the Supreme section because it is one of my favorite shaders to use it's definitely a lot you know you can customize it a lot and it works with distance horizon which is also a plus so yeah i think supreme is definitely going to be a good rating for this shader okay next shader let's spin this wheel for the 33rd time now let's see what we're gonna get and it's going to be apollo rt so let's go ahead and check this one out
Apollo RT, definitely a shader that I've used before and I did like it before, but now I don't like it that much. Honestly, I feel like this shader has, it had potential, but now it just kind of like dropped down. The performance is awful on it. Like it was so hard for me to record these things because it was lagging so much. It has ray tracing options, but you know, a lot of these themes didn't really like look that nice. The only, you know, theme that really looked nice was the day. Other than that, the rest of them, actually the nether also looked pretty nice. Other than that, I think it doesn't deserve to be good. I don't think, it's either between dog or okay, honestly. Like this shader, this shader was at one stage, I think it was a really good shader. But for now, with the options that we've got, I think the shader, is, I'm just going to put it into the good section. I think, I think it's still good, but I don't think it's like, I don't think it's like that good you know i don't think it deserves dog as well i think i think it's 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 unique in its style but it's it's just it's just another shader okay next shader let's see what we're gonna get there's not many shaders now so it's it's gonna be gonna be quicker now okay makeup ultra fast is it yeah makeup ultra fast shader let's go ahead and check this one out Makeup Ultra Fast Shader is definitely a shader that um, I wasn't expecting it to be this good. For a shader that is just meant to be, you know, increase your performance, it also looks really good. And all the themes have, you know, it looks very nice. So genuinely, I, I, that I know it deserves to be somewhere in the top tier section. And I think I'm going to put it either in Supreme or in Good. Honestly, this shader is amazing. And I wasn't expecting that you know them good results from this shader being um, just kind of like trying to make it seem vanilla but also just the day looked absolutely amazing and then you know the end i mentioned also looks really nice the night as well looks very nice and cozy so i think this shader deserves to be either in supreme or good and i'm gonna put it into i'm gonna put it into good i think good is a good section for it so yeah let's just keep it in good and um yeah it's, it's a nice shader okay not many to go now let's go ahead and see what we're gonna get we still haven't had like some good ones, like complimentary. Continuum is a good one. There's Zeus in there, there's Zeus Renewed, there's Astralex. There's some really good shaders still out there. Anyways, our next shader is Continuum. So let's go ahead and check this one out. Okay, Continuum Shader is definitely a shader that I've used a lot in my videos in the past. Using the Stratum Texture Pack with it, like they're kind of made for each other, it looks absolutely amazing. The reflections, you can get some really nice reflections and just some really nice visual effects. But um, we're not, you know, using a texture pack here, we're using it just for the shader. So genuinely, I think the shader deserves to be somewhere in a higher up grounds. And honestly, it looks absolutely amazing. The only issue is the end and the nether dimension does not work with the shader so only in the overworld we can actually use it and i think it's a, i think it's a nice shader i don't think it deserves to be in a supreme section though just because of the end and nether dimension um overall i think if you were to use it just without the shroud and texture pack it'll be good if you're using it with the shroud and texture pack and in the overworld i think it deserves to be goaded honestly we're rating it from the you know from the themes that we've got so i'm gonna rate it in good but if you're using Stratum and Overworld and just a nice, you know, I don't know, Sunrise, you can get some incredible visual effects. So I would definitely put it in the goaded section. But for now, I'm just going to leave it into the good section. It's, it's still a good shader. So yeah. Next shader, I guess, leave the best to the end. We only have one goaded shader so far. Like, come on. Okay, Cardcraft. Another new shader that you guys probably never heard of before. And it was my first time using it as well. So let's go ahead and check this one out.
card crafts a shader that i've never heard before and it was my first time using it it was actually not the worst to be honest it was pretty decent it did kind of remind me of the vanilla look it kind of didn't really change much it kind of kept it vanilla which you know some of you might prefer i uh, you know i like my ray tracings and stuff so yeah it was uh it's difficult i don't want to put it in the dark section but i don't want to put it also in the good section so i think it deserves to be in the okay section it's not the not the worst good shader so yeah i think that's a fair rating for it okay next shader let's go and see what we're gonna get and it's going to be complementary shaders one of the most popular shaders out there at the moment and we're going to be using complementary like just standard complementary we're going to using complementary reimagined and complementary are bound just all in one so that we can just you know rate them all three so yeah let's go ahead and see complementary shaders Okay, complementary shaders you guys definitely heard of before. These shaders were absolutely amazing and they're probably one of the most, you know, one of the most downloaded shaders out there. Uh, always in the top tier or always in the top 10 sections. Um, and I do believe that these shaders should be somewhere above good anyway in my tier. Um, honestly, I love all three of them. The Arbound one focuses more on the water being like uh, more realistic. The reimagined one focuses more of like kind of like vanilla look, but also looks absolutely amazing. And then the complementary standard is just kind of like both of them combined together. I honestly love these shaders and yeah, I can't really say anything bad about them. All themes look absolutely amazing. It's well done. And yeah, let's go ahead and rate these. So complementary standard, which I'm going to put in the goaded section. We have another goaded shader. It's complementary standard. It's just unbeatable i use it every time anytime i play survival it'll be this one for the rest of these i would just use them in my like shorts and stuff but this one will definitely be the one that i'm using in survival complimentary reimagined supreme dude supreme shader honestly love this shader there's so much things you can actually change about them and complimentary are bound also supreme i'm definitely you know a big fan of this one as well but complimentary standard one definitely goaded and i do um love all three of them but that's just my rating so yeah let's get to the next shader okay let's spin this wheel for a couple of more times we don't have that many shaders left and our next shader is going to be Zeus ptgi so i'm going to be using Zeus ptgi e12 Zeus ptgi 2.1 and Zeus ptgi hrr 3.0 so three shaders once again and let's go ahead and check them out
Swiss Beauty Eye Shader is definitely one of my most favorite shaders that um, you know I've ever used. Honestly, I'm a big fan of them. Use them all the time for my shorts, and you know it just looks absolutely amazing. It's just uh, super realistic. The only issue is the end dimension doesn't work on them, and just that's pretty much it. Other than that, it looks absolutely amazing and super realistic. Um, it's gonna be extremely hard for me to rate these shaders because <laughs> they. They might seem like they kind of look the same, some of them, but trust me, there is differences whenever you use them. Um, I don't know. It's just going to be a really hard rating for me. I think uh, I'm going to put Swiss PTGI HRR 2.1. I think this shader deserves to be goaded. I think this shader is just absolutely goaded. I honestly love this shader. Another goaded shader. We've got three goaded shaders now, but this shader definitely deserves to be goaded. And then the rest of these Swiss Beauty Chai definitely supposed to be in the Supreme section. Honestly, I love these shaders. Same as complementary, kind of, you know, you get the complementary standard, uh, you know, got tier or goaded, and then you've got the two Supremes, and then same as Swiss Beauty Chai. You know, all three of them are amazing, but there has to be one goaded, and it's Swiss Beauty Chai HR 2.1. It's honestly goaded, and I love this shader. So yeah, that's, that's just my rating. Anyways, next shader. Okay, next shader. We still have like, I don't know, five or so to go. So this is going to be... This is it. This is it. We're nearly finished, guys. Okay, next shader is going to be... Clico Gaming winning it by literally a far away. So <laughs> let's, uh, let's check this one out. Next shader, Clico Gaming, a new shader for me, and I'm pretty sure you guys never heard of it as well. Well, maybe you did, I don't know, but I haven't never heard of it. So yeah, it's an uh, interesting shader. It's it's like got pixely kind of vibe to it. I don't know why, but during the day it kind of looked pixely. Um, you know the dim other dimensions don't really work. Well, they do, but they're extremely dark, and just genuinely, I think it's just another basic shader that just doesn't really breathtake me, but has a good amount of glitches in it. So. I, I'm not a fan of it, so I think I'm gonna put it into the dark section. Honestly, I don't I don't like it, so I think that's where it kind of belongs. Uh, don't hate me for it, but yeah, that's just my rating. So let's go to the next shader. Okay, we've got five more shaders to go, so let's go and see which is going to win here. We got Sus Renewed. Sus Renewed is on our next shader. Let's go ahead and check this one out. Swiss Renewed, another shader that is absolutely amazing and I've been using it for years. Um, it was kind of like a substitute to Swiss PTGI because I used to have a, you know, not the best PC. So Swiss Renewed was running fairly smoothly on the other PC. Now that I have options to Swiss PTGI, I still think that Swiss Renewed is pretty close compared to them. Um, the rain ripple effect, oh my god, that's probably the best rain ripple effect that we've seen on a shader. Well, best in my opinion. So yeah, definitely deserves to be in the top section. And I honestly think... I don't know, it's kind of like a classic for me. It's kind of like a shader that I've been using for absolutely years and I love it. And a lot of people in my comment section below on TikTok also love it. You know, every time I use it, they're like, what is this rain? What is this shader? All this here. So definitely a great shader and I think it deserves to be goaded. I think this shader deserves to be goaded in my opinion. I love this shader and it's just, yeah, it's just an amazing shader. So, so far we've got four goaded shaders which is uh, you know leave the best to the end now we're starting to get some really good shaders so yeah anyways let's get to our next shader okay next shader we've got four to go which is you know we're getting there we're getting there from 50 shaders to four damn my head is actually fried <laughs> we've got beyond belief as our next shader and if you haven't liked and you're still watching this video to this point i mean come on what are you doing bro come on like the video anyways let's go and check our next shader
Beyond Belief is another shader that I've never used before, but I've heard of it. So yeah, it's definitely a really nice shader. Reminds me kind of of like a Silger vibe as well. There's a lot of shaders reminding me of Silgers in this in this list, but yeah, it's, it's an amazing shader. I really enjoyed it, and uh, I think it deserves to be in a high rating. I did really like the end dimension, and if you know. Every other theme looked really nice. They didn't have any bugs or anything like that. So, yeah, I think it honestly, for shader I've never used, but I, I kind of know of it. I think it deserves to be in a supreme section. Whoa, supreme section. I think this shader definitely has potential, and yeah, I would, I would, I would use it to be honest. I would, I would, I wouldn't just ignore it. So yeah, definitely a shader to check out. And yeah, let's go to our next shader. Three more shaders to go. Let's see what we're gonna get now. We've got uh, Vanilla Plus, Astralix, and Cuda. And I think we're gonna get... Dame, Kuda shader is our next shader. Okay, let's go ahead and check this out. Kuda shader, a shader that I've heard before, and I think it's like a pretty old shader. I don't know, dude. It's it's not hitting the spot. I don't think this is the best shader that I've seen. It's okay, but it's not like good. So I don't know, dude. There was like it's 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 kind of like another basic shader, but with a lot of glitches. Like the rain didn't look good, the day didn't look good, the winter was okay, the night was okay, the end dimension was okay, the nether though was slightly it was better than okay. But it was still like a lot of like a lot of movement, a lot of like, you know, blurriness, you know, trying to make it seem like, you know, the lava was melting your screen. So I don't know, dude, I, 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 don't, I don't really like it. So I think I'm going to put it into the dog section, honestly. Like I, I don't I'm never going to use the shader. I never did use the shader, but I did hear of it before. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave it in the dog section. That's just my opinion. Anyways, last three shaders, guys. All right. So I just realized that uh, we had a mistake. Uh, we don't have super duper vanilla in this wheel because I have Astralix Vanilla Plus and not super duper vanilla So we need to add super duper vanilla, which was a mistake I done We just added super duper vanilla. So we actually have three more shaders to go So let's go ahead and uh, spin the wheel again See what we're gonna get. I'm probably gonna get the super duper vanilla. I'm not even joking. Nope Astralix. Astralix is our next shader. Let's go ahead and check this one out Astralix shader, it's absolutely amazing. Honestly, it's, it's so unique in its own style. It's got so much customization sections or options that you can choose from. It's got birds flying during the day. It's, you know, the end dimension. Dude, the end dimension is absolutely amazing. And just genuinely, it's a pretty cool shader. Uh, also in the rain, you get these like drops on your screen, which is kind of cool. Normally I've seen this on the shaders, but not like that, like realistic. So yeah, definitely a shader that you can play around and actually make literally anything. There's so much options. So I think that this shader actually deserves to be in a Supreme section just because it's got so much options and it's just, it, it, it also looks pretty good. You can even get like a planet that, you know, you can see in the distance. Instead of the sun, you can have a planet. You can have a Joker face if you want. It's just honestly it's so customizable that you can just do anything with this shader. And honestly, I think it deserves to be in a Supreme section because the creator obviously done a lot of work with it and honestly I, I do like it i've used it before and i think it's just a really unique shader compared to all of these shaders so yeah definitely deserves to be in the supreme section okay last two shaders we have super duper vanilla and vanilla plus which both of these shaders are have vanilla in their name which is uh, what are the odds well obviously if we had super duper vanilla earlier maybe we would have chosen it earlier but yeah it was just kind of you know just ignore what i said there's no odds in it um but yeah two vanilla shaders 
Let's see what we're going to get. Vanilla Plus is first. And then Super Duper Vanilla will be our last shader. So, yeah. Let's go and see uh, which vanilla shader is actually going to win this competition. Well, which one will be higher in the tier. Okay, Vanilla Plus, a shader that focuses obviously on the vanilla style, doesn't seem to be, like for me when I was using it, it does focus on the vanilla style, but it also slightly doesn't. It does give us like a really nice, uh, you know, sun reflections and uh, it just looks absolutely amazing. The water looks unreal. So yeah, definitely a shader that, you know, d deserves to be in, the, I think, in the either good or supreme, but I think I'm going to put it in the good section. Um, it does run fairly smoothly as well. You know, a shader that I never really would use in survival, but I do use it in videos because I know people um, with, you know, maybe not the best PCs out there kind of want to use a shader. And this shader is definitely perfect for this um, situation. So, yeah, I'm going to put it into the good section and let's check out our last shader. Okay, finally, our last shader of today is going to be Super Duper Vanilla. And to be honest, I never use this shader like normally because I, I, I tend to try and use a bit more intense shaders for my videos just because so, people like me for that. You know, people like to see uh, realistic Minecraft. So Super Duper Vanilla wouldn't be that realistic. But I don't know. There's something about the shader that everything was absolutely perfect. Like the end I mentioned, the nether, you know, the snow, the night, the day, the rain was just perfect honestly like i do really like the shader and i think that i'm gonna start using it in my you know survival series or whatever i do definitely a shader that i think is it's a popular shader a lot of people like it and it does focus on kind of like that vanilla style but i think that i think this shader is a good shader honestly i think this shader deserves to be in the good section it's amazing and yeah this is my tier list i guess completed and yeah that's my tier list completed guys honestly i hope you will not destroy me in the comment section below but this is my personal tier list of my like you know everyone likes something different so this is the way i like my tier list completed honestly i'm happy with it there is uh, you know some absolutely amazing shaders there's also some bad shaders that i think i um, you know but you know that's what you're gonna get you know you're not always gonna get the best shaders it, it depends you know someone you know one of you maybe like the wisdom the most so you will put it in gold but this is my tier list so no hate i don't want you guys to destroy me in the comment section below but yeah this is my tier list and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did and you made it this far it's a pretty long video thank you so much you guys are amazing and uh, yeah like the video and uh, subscribe if you're new also actually in the description below let me know what you guys want me to do next like maybe a tier list of texture packs or you know things like that so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace